Turn it in here. Let's hide in here. Nina, we are hiding Nina's out. Oh, totally we're hiding out. To school now. We're gonna get in trouble. Get you in... go back to school. No, kids stay here. What is this place? It's an advertising studio. We're lost now. Nina, there's a security guard. I don't care about the security guards. Let's hide. Hey, hey, Weena? Weena, come help me with this. Here. Oh, oh, cool, a cootie catcher. Oh, wow, that's awesome. I haven't yeah. seen one of these since elementary <laughs> school. Who are you in love with? Oh, no, no, no. This one's about celebrities and and brands and stuff like that. Oh, okay, okay, cool. So, um, hmm, who's Dane Cook in love with? Dane, Dane Cook, Cook is, is in, in love, love with... with... Dane Cook is in love with The Economist. The magazine? Give me another name. <sighs> okay, fine. Um, who is Miley Cyrus in love with? And you do. She is in love with Old English malt liquor. Okay, I don't get it. How did you come up with this? From all the advertising age stuff that you've been looking at, mm -hmm. I noticed that, that sometimes brands and celebrities hook up in weird ways. Ah, okay. Like how excited Walmart and ACDC were to have an exclusive contract with each other. We started working with them back about this time last year when they were looking at a new distribution channel for the new album. And so we were really excited because ACDC is really the number one um, or I would say at the top of our catalog sales every year. How did that happen? Walmart is super Christian and family oriented and yet they did this whole display about how to throw the horns. Look. Look at that. And I'm not gonna lie, that's, that's, that's pretty accurate. So weird. Oh, and <laughs> here, who do you think produced the movie Coraline? I don't know. How about a shoe manufacturer popular with jocks? Right, yeah, whatever. <laughs> don't ask me, don't ask me, it happened. Well, Phil Knight produced the entire movie. Uh, that's pretty weird, so I'm guessing this turned you off to Coraline, huh? What, are you kidding? I am a staunch supporter of all things Neil Gaiman. Mm-hmm, fangirl for life, yo. Um, didn't the sweaty gym shoe smell on the movie bother you? No, 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 no. See, without the Nike money, he probably wouldn't have had enough to uh, advertise it properly or even mm. make it 3D. I'm totally fine uh, with maybe it. Maybe it wouldn't have been so boring. That is a personal opinion. Yeah, whatevs. Let's ask the cootie catcher who Marilyn Manson likes. I don't think Marilyn Manson likes anyone. No, 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 no. Look, it says he's in love with the Oxygen Network. <laughs> okay, how about Amy Winehouse? Okay, okay. Cootie catcher, cootie catcher. She's in love with Easy Spirit Shoes. I thought she was in love with Coke. A cola? Or heroin? Um, she -Ra? They're very interactive. You keep using the horn. I don't think it means what you think it means. The billboards that we have here in New York and in LA, they're three-dimensional, so they're a lot of fun and people like to kind of look up and watch them. They're very interactive. They're very interactive. They're very interactive. They're very interactive.